Hey everybody, it's Dal Stone here, and uh, today we're going to continue moving on with what I was working on. So, thank you guys so much for the last video. Seems like you guys liked it. Uh, I apologize again for all the interruptions. Again, check out the timestamps in the description if you guys want to jump to different areas or when I come back from break and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. Um, so, first off, I mean, I kind of just quickly threw this in here, right? Uh, first thing that sticks out to me, like a sore, like a sore thumb, is this table. Uh, it's very kind of, you know, very basic. I'm going to try and block it out a little bit more, I think. Um, I'm going to just quickly, this is an easy thing. I'm just going to quickly kind of add a different color to this. Um, so I'm just going to quickly do that. Make it like a more yellowy kind of color. Uh, not so white. I might even crank down the intensity of this. Um, can I do this by... Okay, so that's the radius. Um, intensity. Is there like a... Let's go like 2,500. Is that even a thing? I don't even know. Okay, I think 5,000 was its was its thing. So we're gonna do that. I want to quickly just throw in an, a fill light. So I'm just gonna duplicate fill light back here, and this is gonna be a lot less intense. So let's go like 2,000 here. And let's do like a complementary color. And this is just kind of like a quick, quick setup. Just a little quick setup here. And I'm going to lower this intensity down to even less than that. Kind of like a little quick thing like that. And then, so let's go with, this is the, the, this is the fill light. And I'm going to name it as such as well. So I'm just going to call this um, fill light. Call this the key light. So this is where the shadows are going to be. Whereas this one, I'm going to turn off shadows. Cast shadows off. This one, I have shadows on. And then I feel like this needs to yeah it's cool just like that and then we'll have uh, a rim lighting i'll take another one of these kind of oh I keep forgetting that control d is not what it actually does and i'm going to take off the cast shadows here i'm going to bring um this scale this down a little bit more And bring the intensity down just a tad bit. Kind of give it a rim, just a little quick rim lighting. And kind of bring this back a tad bit. <clears throat> so now when I go, this is still quite strong. Just want to kind of give the whole scene just like some lighting here so if I turn off this is key light let's change this to rim light so if I turn off rim lighting right you're gonna see that so this kind of helps add to the lighting like now you'll see lighting here sorry guys let me just quickly so now you see kind of like some light hitting on this side, right? You'll see um, it's a little bit hot right here, so I might have to lower down this intensity even more, right? So that it's not. So now you got like this nice little light that's coming around here, here, a little bit showing on here, right? Kind of like nice line there, nice little light here. Right, and then you kind of get some more, some more light. I still feel like it's a little bit hot. There's a problem, so let's kind of bring it. See, but now if I bring it down too much, then it's too little. So for now, let's just leave it uh, the way that 
that it is. Um, just giving us that little bit of light. And I'm going to change this color so it's not exactly the same. I'm going to make it a little bit, maybe even like a like an orange or something. A little bit of like an orange. There we go. Okay. So now we have that type of lighting going on. So again, super quick lighting. It's nothing fantastic. It's not final. It's just kind of like a quick light in there. <clears throat> just quickly render it out and there you have it okay so I think actually actually first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the material onto the pistol I think that that's really important as well because right now the pistol I actually have finished uh, texturing it so I might as well kind of quickly throw in the material it's been a while since I've done materials so let's just do another material let's call this PP7 um, underscore mat and I'm going to throw in I probably should create a new folder here um, let's quickly hold on let me load up my folder with all my materials in it okay so I named this really poorly I named this very very poorly so textures all right so this is a really good really really good time for me to kind of make sure that I do this properly now that I'm documenting everything on the on the tubes um what I'm st let me just show you guys you know there's no shame in this I'll show you guys right now uh it came out as this which it shouldn't right um so right now let's just go pp7 underscore c uh this is normal this is roughness and this is AO. I don't know if this actually takes AO, so we'll just figure that out. This is metallic. And also, I need to see if there's a way for me to do packed mapping. I mean, I know that there is actually. I just don't think that I want to kind of show you guys me kind of researching and learning how to do that um also i'll do that uh, on my own time so it'd be nice so color and normal maps it's fine but it'd be cool to kind of have the metallic roughness and ao kind of baked into like its own kind of map so i mean we'll see how that goes um later on but let's just quickly see pp7 let's go to textures so this is pp7 um so it's color metal and normal and roughness okay so for now let's just import these in uh it was imported as a normal map okay that's good that's good that's good um i feel like i definitely should have a textures folder in here so let me just open is there a way to like open it in explorer there has to be a way to open in Explorer. Uh, let's just quickly go to PP7. Let's go UE4, PP7, content. Um, where is it? I guess because it hasn't been saved yet. Let's save all. Save selected for now. Because I just want to quickly see where this goes. Okay, so it does go into here. So first things first is I need to organize this a lot better so i'm going to create a new folder i'm going to say uh textures and then in textures i'm going to move my textures into there move here okay so i'm going to move all that in there so now my textures i have all the textures in here and what i want um and then i'm going to so material mm -hmm. Maybe I want to create a new folder called materials as well. 
and then I'll throw in my materials into there uh, move there and then I probably want to create a new folder called um, props and again this is just all organizational stuff right and I think that's important you want to organize all your stuff right so it's not such a messy scene so I'm gonna put this into here move there um, and then scene so I'm gonna create also a new folder called scene and in here I'm gonna put in the pp7 folder there we go okay so there we go so I'm just gonna save current everything looks good uh, with materials there's the pp7 I'm gonna load up the pp7 and then let's go back, let's go to textures, and let's load these bad boys in to here. So, uh, so first off, I need to make sure that all this stuff is looking good. So this is the PP7 material. This is the normal map. This is metal. So, let's see, what's this? This is the roughness. So roughness, I'm going to put into here I'm going to put this is the color underscore C put this into there and then like I said it's been a really long time since I've done this so so I'm just kind of wrapping my head around around this process again because I know that it's a little bit different depending on and what you're doing so this is normal let's go here um, so there we go now let me just save this quickly and world space ambient occlusion so I can put an ambient occlusion on there uh, there's is opacity on it on here it's a surface uh, deferred decal nope Opaque, masked, translucent. Okay, that's cool. Uh, default lit, two sided. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. Screen space reflectance. SSR, okay. Directional light. Sorry, guys, I'm just taking a look at this. It's been a while, like I said, since I've done this. So, um, it's just nice to kind of quickly look at this stuff again. Um, okay, so. Let me just open these up because I remember back in the day I had to like change a bunch of like the texture groups and stuff like that. So this is world. Um I had to change a couple things in here and I'm wondering if I still need to or not. Um I don't think I do. It looks like um compression world padding color srgb that's what it was back in the day this should be unchecked if it's using alpha channels individually as a mask so i remember back in the day i used to get this confused quite a bit srgb see so like this is a white and black right so it's like do i need to does this need to be srgb um and then normal maps used to see like that's fine the way that it is so let's just throw this material on to the pistol and so let's go to content let's go to materials let's put this material on the pistol so let's drag this material into here um and let's see how it looks like i don't think that that's correct Right, let's just build this quickly, see how it looks. But <clears throat> Okay. No, that looks relatively correct actually. Um Yeah, that that actually okay. Um I'm just gonna quickly tweak it to see if to see so I'm just gonna quickly tweak the material here oh sorry um, so I'm just gonna save that textures 
So what happens if I change? Okay, so sRGB, it's fine. Mask. Let's change this to. You guys see how? Do you guys see how that changed? I don't. Has alpha channel false? So how did that change? Like I don't. That didn't. That doesn't look like that changed anything. So I don't know if that really needs. So let me just quickly check. Like I don't think that that changes anything. Right? Wait, that did change something. Right? Now it looks more proper. You guys see that? Is that just me or is that crazy? You know what I mean? So I feel like... So I feel like that does matter. SRGB does matter for metal and for reflectance because now that looks more like my pistol so yeah so I guess I still remember a little bit of what's going on here um, okay cool yeah so that looks that definitely looks a little bit better uh, with the pistol color on there so let's just quickly save this out It's getting hot in here. Hold on, guys. Let me just take a little drink here. All right. So I just saved it. Um, I'm gonna work on this uh, on this um, desk. Okay. It's a big piece. I feel like you need to kind of quickly work on it. At least get it into a better shape because right now it just looks meh. Right? It doesn't look like the shape that it should be um, so I'm just gonna quickly work on that I think today just getting the general shape of it a better shape of it and then I might switch over to working on the, the bullet because I think uh, showing you guys the full process once and that kind of gives me kind of like a quick warm-up as well it's gonna help out a lot so let's uh, hop into some Maya here and I'll I don't want you guys to kind of see a blank screen or anything so I'm going to do this quickly um so a few things i want to say is uh thank you guys so much for liking the video uh for me the way i look at it is the people the amount of people who liked the video obviously watched it a bit right and the people who comment obviously watched it um so yeah i mean like i said before i'm not really caring about about the views and stuff like that as much anymore uh i mean obviously i'm still taking a look at the views and things like that on my videos um, but yeah, please leave comments and stuff like that. Uh, that, that'd be greatly appreciated on the videos and, and yeah. So the pistol is there. Um, so where's our mini scene? What's going on here? How come, uh, new folder. What's going on here? Is everything hidden? Everything's hidden. <laughs> That scared the crap out of me. Scared the crap out of me. Okay. Um. So let's just hide everything but the side table. Okay. So this is my current side table, which is not uh, currently what I want, right? Uh, let me just quickly find my round table. Uh, I also want to make a small adjustment as well. I was looking at side tables. Uh, there's one that might work. And I was taking a look at it. And I realized that the side table is actually not that tall. So I'm going to make that adjustment as well. Um, so this is the side table we're going, to, we're going to create. Something pretty simple, again, because I don't want to take away from the pistol. The pistol is to the is the key, right? Like that's what people want to look at. So the side table that I was looking at was more like that. And it was a little bit more narrow. Okay? A little bit more narrow, like that. Now, this is going to change a bunch of the stuff in the scene, right? So I need to be very careful when I make these changes. Um, so first off, I'm going to quickly export this back into the scene. And we're going to see how this adjusts everything. I just closed this, so I need to reopen it. Um, I need to see how this affects this, the scene. So this is a side table. Let's export this to see how that affects everything. Okay, um, 
So yeah, so now things are gonna be floating a tad bit. I hate the fact that this loads up this scene. Like I really wish um, I can change the default scene for this project. View options. Um, so this should have created some floating, but it didn't. So either one, um, I didn't export this out correctly. Where did I export this out? Export selection. Side table in meshes. Okay, so. Okay, so now I have, I have two scenes open. I have to get, get rid of this one. <clears throat> Um, come on, side table meshes. So this should have re-imported. Okay, there we go. So maybe there's an option or something for like re-importing stuff automatically. Uh, but regardless, so regardless, so now this is a little bit too small, right? Because now this looks tiny. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how, oh, sorry. We'll see how this looks in a second here. Um, let's bring this down. Right, because now this looks really small. Um, it's like hanging off. So I think I like the, I mean, this is kind of cool too. The way that I look at it is like, so the pistol is quite large, but I mean, I don't know, I don't, should a pistol be hanging off like that? I don't think it should be. If it's a small little cocktail table or a little side table, maybe it hangs out like that? I don't know, I just feel like a little side table with a pistol. Okay, so let's say without the silencer, it fits on the table nicely, but because it has a silencer on it, maybe it does make sense. And maybe it hanging off a little bit is fine. These these questions, these questions. Um, okay, let's just, let's fan this up a tad bit. Let's fan it up a tad bit. I don't know, nope, I don't like it. You know what, I think I'm going to go with my gut. I'm trying to look here. You know, if a pistol was on this, would it hang off to the side, right? And I feel like my gut's telling me no. My gut's telling me that it shouldn't be hanging off on the side like that, right? So maybe, so maybe I don't change that, um, right? Maybe I don't change that. Um, okay, so let's, so let's do this. So let's, I, I gotta go with my gut. And I think it should be like that then. Okay, so let's freeze that. Let's re-export this side table. And these are the questions that, you know, that you ask when you're creating these things. Um, let's re-import. Okay, there we go. You know what? That feels, that feels a lot, that feels a lot better. That feels a lot better. And I think my gut was correct. Okay, I need to readjust my lights now a little bit. It needs to be come down a little bit lower. Let's bring this down a bit more. Um, the fill light's fine. See now, let's see, turn off the fill light. You see that? Big difference, big difference. Okay. So let's uh, let's quickly build. Let me just save. Actually, let's build this first, and then I'll save it. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, <clears throat> yeah, you guys, uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, do all those things, and um, yeah. So okay. So. So this table, let's save, save all, save everything. So side table, all right, let's get started guys. Let's get started. Let's do this. So I got about another 35 minutes or so of this. Um, so first things first is I, I don't like this faceting, right? You can see the polys here. So I'm not going to be shy in adding more polys. 
so that'll be the first thing that I do. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more subdivisions in there. And I'm gonna be doing some subd modeling. Um so yeah. So look forward to that. Um how am I gonna break this down? Okay. So alright, hold on, I'm just gonna take off my sweater here. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. And yeah, guys, keep uh, supporting the videos, and uh, I'll keep creating them. Um, okay, so let's create a new a new cylinder. Let's create a brand new cylinder. Uh, so we like this size. We're gonna keep that size. We're going to squeeze this in more. So this is gonna be the top rim. Hold on here. Nope. It's not my wife. As long as it's not my wife messaging me, I'm good. I only answer to my wife right now during my little my YouTube time. If it's not my wife and it's just a bunch of my buddies goofing off, whatever. Alright, so let's see. 32 is 32 good enough? 32 Okay, okay, okay. Um, 32 is not bad. Okay, you know what? If I'm doing subdivisions, if I'm doing subd modeling, this is going to be okay because I'm going to go like that. Um, let's hide this for now. Let's put some crease so I'm gonna crease um, this bottom edge where's my crease tool whoa where's my crease tool crease tool where are you okay come on where's my crease tool is this not the crease tool anymore crease sets yeah Okay, hold on. This is not good. Is it hiding somewhere? Content, no. Where's my crease sets? Edit mesh. Sorry guys, um, normally this works. I don't know what's going on here. Crease, yeah, I want to crease. Yeah, that's definitely what I want to do. But I've never had issues creating crease sets before. Uh, mesh, edit mesh, crease sets. What's going on here? Hmm, that's not what I want though. I want to actually create crease sets. Okay, let me just quickly save the scene and reopen this. Wait, what's going on here? That didn't save. Okay, maybe my Maya is freaking out. Hopefully that's hopefully that's the case because because <clears throat> yeah, I've never I normally don't get that issue. So yeah, so that's really really weird. Um, all right, three seven. Okay, so let's go here. So like, here's my crease sets, but I just want to. Where's the window? Right? There's no window. That's that's my biggest issue right now. Is I don't have a window to show me my crease sets. So let me just quickly Google this. Sorry guys. Um crease set window my uh, not appearing. Um so if I go to Windows, Relationships um, where is that saying? Relationship editors, crease sets. So there should be crease sets right here. So crease, okay, okay, okay. okay crease sets, crease of list. Okay. 
Okay, so I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, okay, this is really weird. Um, not happy about this. Okay, whatever. Uh, I guess I'll have to do it old school, which is really annoying. Um, but. It is what it is, I guess. Um, okay, well, sorry guys. I guess I'm going to have to do this the weird way. Uh, which is... Oh, man. Crease tool. Okay, so now it'll go like that. Like that. And what I'll, I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a I'm gonna split polygons here. I'm gonna curve this in a bit, kind of give it that nice little ridge. Right. So got that going for us. Um, I think this is maybe a little bit too much. Let's go there. I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'm actually going to add another uh, edge loop right here. All right, and what I'll do is I'm seeing like a little lip. I'm seeing like a little lip here. See this little lip? I'm going to add that lip to this as well. So I'm going to go crease tool. Okay, now what's going on here? Just like that. So I'm gonna kind of bring this out a little bit more. Let's see if that... Okay, so this needs to kind of be brought down a tad bit. Now let's see. Nope. Okay, so I need to really... Uh, with the crease tool here, really bring that 100%. And then maybe bring this, maybe I need to bring this up more. Up more like that. Then maybe that gives us a little bit of a lip. I feel like it needs to be. More. This isn't hard enough though, that's the thing. I feel like this should be the crease tool, like it should be really harsh, um, but it's not really doing it the way that I expect it to. So maybe I need to put it almost exactly. To give it that nice little lip, maybe there we go. Okay, oh, it was, it was just the lighting, it was just the lighting. Um, I might want to add in another loop here just to kind of add to that, All right? Kind of like really define it. Might not be necessary. Let me just bring this down a little bit. Okay, there we go. So now we have kind of like the top. Um, I feel like maybe uh, this might need just a little bit more. Right, so that it's not so hard. Um, maybe I need to extrude this as well. Uh, bring this guy up more like that. And maybe bring this out a bit more. Kind of bring this out a bit. Yeah, kind of give it 
so it's not so so sharp there's a little bit of a bevel and I obviously I'm going to be baking this onto a lower poly because this is going to be quite expensive I mean already this is at 4,800 triangles obviously that's quite a bit um, sorry where am I at with time okay so we have this the top um, looking at my reference I feel like maybe it's a bit too maybe it's a little bit too thick at the top there um, so let's see here I'm gonna move this side table go to the side here I feel like maybe it's a little bit too thick but we'll leave that it might be okay we'll leave that for now uh, we need another uh, another cylinder and let's just make sure this is correct here now we're gonna create the kind of the inside part of it and it's definitely smaller in radius so let's go with something maybe like that okay so right now so I'm gonna delete the faces here All right, do like that and I'm going to um, extrude to get another cap get that going here select that something like this going to delete all of that extrude this up and this is never going to open this drawer so it's going to go something like that and Obviously, this is a little bit too big. We're gonna go with something maybe like that. I'd say it's probably about one, one, two. Let's see, like that. Okay, so now with this, we're going to give it some crease edges. Obviously, um, some crease edges. Give it a nice hard edge. Right. Um, we're going to add some polys there, some polys here, so it's not so still feel like. I feel like there should be like a little bevel, right? So I'm just going to delete those. I'm going to add just a slight bevel here. Um, let's go down to like 0.2, and that should kind of give us a better in, in inkling or and then. Yeah, it should be a little bit rounded, and I think this. I don't even know. Did I even change anything? I don't even know if that changed anything. Um, it's just crease tool. It doesn't really give us a soft bevel. So, what happens if I go crease tools here and it kill that completely? Uh, let's give it a nice enough bevel like that. Same with this one too. Just give it a nice little soft bevel. I don't think that made a difference, but oh well. <laughs> I don't think it made a difference. Uh, okay, so now we have this, this, and this. Um, and then we have kind of the kind of something in the middle here 
And this is pretty small too. This almost looks like it'd be about the same size as this piece. So we're going to just bring this in a bit more. And it's kind of like this little shelf thing. Now looking at this again, this definitely looks way too big. So we're going to bring this up. And then this should be like that. And then we have the... Then we have the um, little legs, right? So let's quickly do the legs here. Cube. And there's four legs. So what we'll do is we'll keep the center pivot. We'll put the center pivot in the center later. Um, so first and foremost, it definitely goes in from here. Let's quickly delete this. Let's grab the verses here. Bring it all the way down to the bottom. Let's uh, start scaling this from the top. Something like that. Oh, sorry. Right, something like that. Um, and then what we'll do is it looks like it kind of tapers down. So I'm going to split. So I'm going to multi cut. And it starts to taper around here. And I'm going to start tapering this bad boy. Start tapering this bad boy. Kind of like that. Now already I'm starting to see that this table does look like it's quite small. So I'm going to have to make some adjustments. Also this is way too fat compared to the image. So it should be something like that. Um, and maybe a little bit smaller. And even with this one. Okay, so let's quickly um, just gonna quickly do this here. Just gonna add a bevel to this. Uh, let's go like that. And then we're gonna quickly Grab these edges here and we're just going to crease them. Crease edge. So it has that kind of nice little taper there. Um, so that's kind of the table here. Uh, I'm going to put this into the center. Or I'm going to put this pivot into the center. Um, I th I think it should be probably about there. Let's see how that looks. That feels about right. Just touching both of those. Okay, and this should be um, kind of digging into there a little bit more. All right, and then I'm going to duplicate special this um, instance parent. And let's, I want three copies of this. Let's rotate it from the Y, I believe, um, 90 degrees. Yeah, there we go. My math, my math is real. Um, so now we have that. And like I said earlier, like this doesn't look right, right? This does not look right. It doesn't look right. From my images, like it should be about this high. This should be about like that. It should be about almost like this. And it should be like that. Or almost like this. Like that's what it feels like it should be. Right? Even this is a little bit too tall. This is a little bit too tall. Let's go with something like that. Right, like this is what it feels like. Like that looks more like the image, right? Sorry, where's my image? Um, 
So I think I'm going to have to go with my gut. Like I feel like this this is more correct. Um, right, and, and even looking at the reference even more, you can see that this is even closer to it. Right? And then looking at the reference here, it cuts in even a little bit more than that. So even something like that. Um, like I feel like this is a better representation of it. Uh, I also noticed that this is probably going to be sunken in. So I need to actually bring this in more. Right? And if I really want to make this a little bit more realistic, it's probably like this is probably um, deleted. And then this all gets merged to center. All right. And hey, guys, like I said, while I'm doing all this stuff, if you guys have questions, just ask them right inside the comment section. Just ask them and then I will answer them in the next video. I think that that's a good start to kind of how to um get more interaction within what it is that i'm doing so if you guys have questions just ask them even if it's not related to the project if it's more related to like hey like how is it like in the industry or anything like that just ask it and you know i'd be more than happy to answer those type of questions um so yeah so i feel like this is a little bit more accurate to this than what it, i had before Okay, and then now I need to create kind of like a little doorknob kind of thing. Oh, whoops, what am I doing? Uh, a little, it looks like a drawer, but I don't even know if this is a drawer. Like, it could be like a fake drawer, you know what I mean? But I, I mean, this little cut tells me that I think it is a real drawer. To be fair, I don't know what kind of, what you can actually fit in here. Uh, when I'm looking at it, it's just kind of like, uh, I think it might be a fake drawer because... Or it could be like a little small kind of like pie kind of drawer or something like that. Uh, for now, I'm just going to create the handle. Something nice and easy. Um, but yeah, already like this is a very different looking. Like this scale is already changing, right? So I have to be very careful with that. Put this into the scene right away. And that's why it's so important to have uh, kind of like a gray block stage and kind of like a scene so where you can just put in your assets to see the results right away so you can make changes accordingly so right now let's just quickly check this out again so it's just kind of our, sorry guys we're just gonna move the reference over to the other screen I'm going to quickly create um, it looks like a cylinder another cylinder surprise surprise so another cylinder here um, What happened? Where'd it go? There we go. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to ask. Um, like I said before, even if it's not like the project related, but it's like more like, hey man, like how did you get into the industry or whatever? Uh, I'm just gonna answer you guys' questions while I'm working. I'll make like a little document before I start uh, my recordings and I'll just kind of answer you guys' questions uh, this way. You know, you guys, when a new video comes out, you guys are gonna, there's an incentive for you guys to come back and actually check it because that way I'll actually, um, I'll answer you guys' questions through my videos um, and not so much through my, my the comments section because um, I'm pretty busy. So it's not, I don't, it'd be easier for me just to answer through the video than, um, easier for me to answer through the video than it is for me to go in and type everything I mean that's not true that's me completely lying it's probably easier for me to do the comments thing but I want to give you guys an incentive to come back and um, actually look at the videos or like to check out my next videos right so right now just kind of going in here and just playing around with this trying to make this little doorknob thing 
and crease tools there we go um, this is obviously not looking nice it's not playing nice so I'm gonna just kind of move that a little bit um, it's gonna look a little bit more like what we want so hopefully yeah you guys are enjoying this video this video is way less interruptions so that's nice that's like so far it's been 50 minutes straight of just modeling and hopefully you guys are learning something as well um, So I'm looking at the my reference and it's actually not this thick. Like it's actually quite narrow. It's almost like that. It's almost like that. So yeah, I mean it's so important to look at your reference, right? Like it's so important. So something like that is more of what I'm seeing from this image. Um, maybe this is a little bit too small, um, but maybe it's just more like that, more like that. Okay, so there we go. And what I'm going to do is this is the doorknob, not the doorknob, sorry, it's the knob. Change this, the let's pivot to the center. And... Okay, hold on. Before I do this, let's set, let's move this into the right location. Okay, so let's move this. Um, I believe that might be more accurate. And for me to have more le uh, leeway, I'm just going to move this in more. It's going to go deeper into uh, into the wood. And I'm going to move this back to the center pivot. I'm going to rotate it. Oh, sorry where is it where is it oh my god where is it what the hell did i just do um okay so yeah so it's so f it's too far away so i need to move this out more okay let's see where is it 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 let's pop this out okay so what happens so here it is so what happens if i bring this in here so which is the wood? So the wood is okay. So the wood is there. Okay. So good to know. So the wood is right in there. Bring this to the pivot like that. There we go. Okay. Done. And this. Um, let's bring the X to down here and let's make sure that this is a big enough size i feel like it's a bit too small so let's um enlarge this bit so it makes sense so there we go okay cool okay so now we have so this is our so this is our new side table obviously and um, so I'm going to create this, so this is a uh, side table, so this is our new side table, um, and this is our old one, so I'm going to delete the old one, this is the new one, I'm going to call this side table OG, okay, and then we're going to create, duplicate it, and we're going to come, so my, and so what we're going to do is we're going to combine this, this to here this has nothing in it now delete it so this is the oh this is an OG this is side table um, it's just gonna be one sub div div so I'm gonna go hide that so this is uh, about 500 triangles okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export this out into Unreal and then we'll call it a day uh, for this episode I'm gonna export this bad boy. Yeah, let's see here. Meshes, I think it was, and then side table. So yeah, so I'm not gonna smooth everything out yet. And like this potentially could be my low poly, right? Um I can probably go lower poly with the knob. 
right? Potentially. Uh, same with this one down here. I can definitely go lower poly on this one, right? And I'll show you guys. I'll show you that whole process uh, a little bit later on. I have a feeling I'm probably going to be moving on to I think the bullet afterwards, just to kind of give it that a little bit more shape, and then. I might just yeah like i might just kind of do a quick higher poly versions of all these um i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens because i do feel like maybe it's better that i show you guys the whole process for one asset and then do it for the rest uh, but we'll see we'll see how it goes so i think i exported it let's go back here and let's re import this okay so so there's our new thing um now everything is all busted up now so i need to re change all that and i do want to rotate this bad boy there we go give it give it to us and pp7 bullets mag martini glass let's move all this stuff up there we go there okay so there's our little table and let's take a screen so yeah again i don't i need to set my camera so that this makes sense Hmm. Okay, let's go like that. So yeah, so I mean, obviously right now it's not smooth. You can see the faceting on the top of the, of the desk, and I'll fix all that. Um, probably in the next episode, the clip and the bullet bugs me right now. So I might go in and re-jigger uh, those assets, um, give it a better shape and form. Um, before I kind of go too much into anything else. But yeah, you're starting to see the scene kind of coming to life a little bit more now. <clears throat> so let's see here. So yeah, so there we go. There you have it, guys. Um, I don't like this camera clipping, but it is what it is. Uh, cameras in there. Or sorry, not cameras in there. Textures in there for the gun the first pass of the table is in there now um i feel like this is a stronger silhouette for the desk than this so i might i have a feeling i'm going to rotate this a little bit because now you see three of the legs and I think that's a little bit more interesting. I like the fact that you can see this knob kind of pointing towards the pistol. I think that's a little bit more cooler when it comes to composition. Uh, let's quickly just build this again. Sorry guys, now I'm just totally nitpicking. This is completely unrelated, not that important to be honest. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so I think I might keep it like this. But yeah, I mean like see this faceting stuff? we don't want that especially in our portfolio so um yeah so we'll see we'll see uh if i end up showing you guys the whole process of like going in doing these high polys and then like baking it all down into a low poly um because it's it needs to look like this right obviously right now there's a bunch of end gone so i need to go in and, and get rid of those as well um so yeah i mean right now it needs to look like this, but right now it looks like this, which is fine. It'll get to that point, and I'll show you guys how to get to that point. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys liked the video, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, and if you guys have any questions, like I said, put it into the comment section, and I'll answer the, your questions in uh, the future videos. All right, see you guys again next time.